Hey guys, I'm going to give you a video here. Um, had a CME. So I got you guys over here at Seeds. You can see it. It's blowing off towards Stereo A. We're, we're down here. Stereo A is over here. Okay. So this is not earth facing. We probably won't see any kind of effects from this. Um, not saying that we can't. But why is this important? Well, um, I wanted to show you this first. Okay. Watch this time lapse. Now, what I want you guys to pay attention to, um, I started seeing this yesterday just a little bit, um, and I actually talked to Scott about it just a little bit. But you can see for a trained eye that, that, that looks at this a lot, you'll see like an object like right there, and you'll see the CME kind of blow by it. Okay. In other words, what we're saying here is that the CME was being induced and someone was reacting to this object. Now, what makes this significant is that this material or uh, charged particles and stuff from the CME that comes off of here actually, you know, hits this object or its magnetic field and goes around it. And that's why it takes this shape. Okay, this object stays here. And I'm going to show you. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, I got, you, I got you over here to my gallery, all right? Now, this object is moving just a little bit, okay? It's not moving much. We wouldn't expect it to move very much in, you know, a half-hour time period, all right? So, and also, guys, this falls right into the 28-day cycle, and I'll show you guys that here in just a second. It's just crazy how this is falling in every time now. Um, this is what we're talking about, you know, as far as having observational evidence and stuff to share. Um, and I think that this is actually really, really good evidence because it actually shows the object staying put as the CME, you know, goes on out. Okay. So in other words, the shape of the CME doesn't have any bearing on whether or not there's an object there or not. Okay, and what I'm saying by that is, if you look real close here, guys, you can see the object is there. Okay, the CME's out here. It's clearly past it. The CME took this shape because it interacted with <laughs> the sun. Well, I'm sorry, it interacted with this electromagnetic field from our object here. Okay, so it, it had to go around it, right? So that's why it took this shape. Now, we do see shapes similar to that when we have regular CMEs also, but typically there's like a swirl right down the middle, okay? This one here just kind of looks like there's a hole punch, right? I mean, look at that right there. So, you know, take that for what it's worth, but we'll start here. Look real close. Okay, now I didn't put any filters on this, all right? That's just a raw capture from seeds. All right. It's from, uh, <coughs> yeah, seeds. Now look. It's still there. But this material is starting to go around it, right? Again, I'll zoom in. Look. It's still there. It's pretty clear right there, guys. I mean, I could put some filters on this and show it to you. A little bit better. Hopefully you guys can see that, but I won't need to here in a second. I mean, I probably really don't have to say anything else after that. <laughs> I mean, that's... I mean, you, you can see it. It's going around it. Okay? And it's staying virtually in the same position. But yet the CME itself is actually going on out into space. Okay, that was just a couple screenshots there. Now, why is this significant? Well, guys, I mean, 813, what's today? 911, 28 days, right? This is the capture Scott had. Same exact position, same exact reaction with the sun. 28 days later. I mean, there is no filter at all on that. Not one, not nothing. 
There's nothing. There's no filter. That, that, you guys can go over to seeds and look at it yourself. It's there right now. Same with this. Okay. Same exact position, guys. 20 days later, and the sun has the same exact reaction to it. This is what we're talking about, okay? Because, you know, we're able to, you know, say, hey, this is where we need to be looking for this object. And it shows up almost every time. We can go back months, and I've talked about this before, okay? I'm not going to beat a dead horse here, okay? But it is 28 days, and this is what we're seeing right here, okay? Um, I just really wanted to show you guys that tonight. Um, we are having some uh, geomagnetic stuff going on. Um, I think it's more probably either cosmic rays or we may have some solar wind coming from a, a coronal hole, a small one. Um, but if you guys go look at the models, you'll be able to tell that it's not necessarily what they're what they forecasted. <laughs> okay, and the ACE actually shows some pretty steep drop offs and peaks and. All kinds of crazy stuff and I, I, you know I'm not gonna go into that tonight I just really wanted you guys to see this now and I did I did um, do a, a model update on the end of this video okay um, I am working on the cosmic ray video I'm going over Scott's article um, I'm about half done with that so you know give me some time there I'll get it out to you guys but um I, I wanted you guys to see that I really did um, you know and, and I'm gonna show you every time Okay, because I think it's important that we start building more and more data from this. And there's, there's just more and more observations that we're seeing that fall right in line with what we're talking about. Okay, and I'm going to show you stuff that doesn't fall in line with what we're talking about either. I showed you guys something a couple days ago that looked like there was something on the other side too. And like I said, not, we're, none of us are sitting here saying that, that there's only one object there. I don't think you can find in this community at all that somebody's saying that. It, this is a system, okay? This is multiple objects. So it would be ridiculous for us to think that we're only going to see one of them. So, you know, it, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary to see something different, a different object in a different spot. That's what I'm trying to say. But when we, when we find, when Scott found this, this, this orbit and worked it out, okay, and he's able to say, hey, you, you guys can go back and look at his videos. And he tells you what days to look for this thing. And when we do look for those days, we see this stuff. And if you go back, I think it was one or two videos ago. Maybe it was his last one he just did. He said, hey, you know, just start looking out next couple days up until like the 13th, 14th type of thing. See if we can't catch this thing again. And sure enough, there it is. So, um, but just to kind of recap here. The main thing I was wanting to show in this one is that this is not part of a CME. The CME moved on past it, guys. And, I, and I, I just showed it to you, okay? This isn't part of the CME. This this actually was probably what caused the CME. It's the magnetic field of this thing reacting with the sun. Okay? Because it stays in the same spot and the CME just goes right on out into space. It's exactly 28 days later. So please, guys, guys, go over and look at seeds yourself. But I am going to end the video here. Um, I am going to put a put some music with some models at the end here. Um, hope you guys like that. I really like to show you guys those models and show you what's going on there. So you guys can make up your own mind and, and just look at that stuff and try to understand it. And I would encourage you guys to go to those websites and read up on what you're actually looking at. I try to explain it the best that I can, but there's nothing better than looking at it with your own eyes and making up your own mind. So, <clears throat> but here you go, guys. Um, God bless. Shiva saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.